Arming campus police, it's a controversial debate that's taking place at all three of Rhode Island's public colleges. Now one college president is taking a stand on the issue, and we wanted to know how students feel about that decision. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is live in the newsroom now with the new details. Yeah, it's really been a heated debate at a lot of campuses that includes Rhode Island College. And the fact that it's so down the middle is what caused Rhode Island College to keep the status quo and not arm officers. A divided student body. Rhode Island College put it to a vote and campus police will remain unarmed. Um, what was your take? I don't think they should have them. I feel safe here. I don't see why we need them. It happened up in the Boston Marathon. It happened up in Connecticut. Rhode Island is super close there, so if something did happen, under, I'd feel safer, actually, if there was someone that did have something to stop. The college surveyed students and couldn't come up with anything decisive. I believe it's a police officer, so they should have guns. It's silly for them not have guns. They're essentially um, useless if they don't. I mean, I don't really think campus police do need to have guns. Um, you know, uh, maybe they should, they should go through like some training. The college released this statement to us. At this point in time, we believe it's in the best interests of the campus community for campus police to remain unarmed. The debate over arming police on campus increased dramatically after the gun scare at URI earlier this year. So far, URI hasn't decided if they'll arm campus police, and CCRI has announced they have no plans to arm their officers. And Rhode Island College did admit a small amount of the student body actually participated in that survey. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.